Hi, my name is Tony Lopez. This is Combat Sambo Tape Dirty Tricks. These are the, tr the, the tricks and the combat uh, Sambo techniques that KGB agents spec next commando. This is going to be very fast and very vicious. Okay, in this tape I'm going to do some just very basic dirty tricks, okay? Or dirty fighting. Or Let's say he's going to backfist me, okay? Or he's going to grab me. All right, I'm going to soft block here. Notice I'm stepping a little bit off the off his foot. My foot was here, here. Okay, from this position, I'm going to hook my finger like this. Okay, so he goes to punch or grab here. I'm going to hook in this side of the eye and rake this way. If I poke like this straight in, it's not going to do as much damage if I go in to the eye here and follow inside as a hook. <clears throat> okay, so he's going for a punch or maybe a grab. Notice I'm stepping. The reason I'm stepping is because when I'm here, he might punch me here. Okay, so I'm going to step a little bit. Not much. Go one, rake. From this position, go to this position. Pull down. Breaking his elbow. Okay? And after that, finish. Very simple. <clears throat> Again, let's say this side. He puts his fist I put my finger. I'm giving myself more range by using my fingers. So very simple. He goes to punch. One. Make, you can do this. If you have real small fingers, a woman, you can do three like this. I like the two. Always go here. Don't go from this side this way. Don't, this is not going to work as well. If you do this, it might take the eye out. So he goes to punch. Just here. Hook. That, this is going to bend back, obviously, towards his eye. When I poke here, what's going to happen? He's going to bend. So you do that, put your hand right here. You can do your hands here, open hand and point it down, and then just rotate down. You'll break his elbow, and then you can hold it here, break it again. You know, you break it this way, put it down, break it this way. See how his elbow's up, hand down, and proceed to pound. Okay? And that's Technique number one. Next technique is again, I like to, I don't like to punch the face as much. I like to use eyes and hands because I like to grapple anyway. Um, let's say he goes through a punch. I'm going to block here. From this position, these fingers, all of them are going towards the eyes. His head will go back. Hit him here, hit here. So the technique is eyes, nose, throat. Eyes, nose, throat. Okay? All right? So he throws a punch. Okay? Let's put his hand here just to be on the safe side. Okay? He throws a punch. Look how fast you can go. Eyes, nose, throat. Again. Watch my hand. One, two, three. And we can add something to that. He goes through a punch, something. One. Eyes, nose, throat. Then hook right here and pull. The collarbone right here. Put your fingers right behind it. Pull down. It's very easy to break. And we're going to soften it up. We're going to go bang, bang. Hit here. See that? Very hard. Here. Then move your fingers right here to the collarbone. That hurts, doesn't it? Yes. <laughs> and pull. So, from this position, we'll do it, okay? No, just, just keep your hand, keep your hands on. One, two, three, pull. Okay? And uh, it works really well off of this block. Okay, and that's the second technique. Okay, I taught a, a girl this technique, and someone attacked her, and she was able to use this and hurt him. Okay, a man grabs you, has you against the wall, you know, wants to rape you or attack you. Okay, set, don't fight him. Try to suck him in. Okay, okay, darling, fine. I'll give you a kiss. Let me give you a big kiss. Grab his head here. Headbutt. Boom. Head. 
boom. Notice my thumbs, drive the thumbs into the eyes. So you say, yes, baby, give me a kiss. One, thumbs all the way into the eyes. Grab your forehead and pretend this is a soccer ball. Soccer, bang, right into the throat. Don't do this, this is weak. You should be, your head should be totally straight, just like playing soccer. So again, give him a little kiss, kiss. You can do this in a, in a, in a mag this. Guy throws a punch, throws another punch, boom. From this position, clap, thumbs. Soccer, boom. Now, get in the strong grip. This is the strongest grip. Okay, this is much stronger, this is a weak grip. From this position, soccer, come straight up. Ooh, that's good, that breaks the neck. Now, after you get them straight up, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna drop. Pop, goes the neck. Okay, so again, give them a little kiss. Poke them in the eyes. Be a soccer, that's the Adam's apple's soccer ball. Goal, grab here. When you do this, notice when I do this, my hands loosen, but my hands don't loosen like this, okay? So get in this position here. Make your head up, not like this, this is weak. Bring your arms together. See what happens when I bring my arms together? Stand them up. And then once you got them standing them up, just drop. Boom. Um, we can get into that very easily. Let's say he throws a punch. Boom, into a headbutt. You know, he's throwing, uh, stand over here, please. Remember our frames? There's, there's another punch. Boom. Remember our frames? The double frame? From this position, headbutt. Bang. Thumb. Grab. Soccer goal. And drop. You can also drop like this. Come down, please. So when he comes down, he comes down. Is going on your um, knee. But I prefer just to go pop. It works very good um, women against a man. That's the uh, third technique. Okay, please practice your frames. Frame one, frame two. Remember, the frame two blocks this punch. You know, remember you blocked here, frame two, throw an uppercut. Blocks this, okay? Boom, okay? So, he throws a punch. From this position, here to here, boom. Okay, we're slamming him a good shot, boom. Come to here. Now, we're not gonna do a guillotine choke. No, we're gonna crank his neck just for fun a little bit. I'm gonna put his head, here's my hip here. I'm going to grab these two knuckles and the cheek, don't push in on the cheek, hook in. In other words, I don't want to do this, I want to do that, just like a dentist drilling without Novocaine. See right here? Not here, but here. See that? You okay, big guy? Mm -hmm. Okay, watch the difference in Tommy's reaction. Not this, this, <laughs> okay? I'm going to get this knuckle, so again, you okay, big guy? Mm -hmm. okay. okay. He goes to punch, boom, boom, come to here. You can knee him as you're coming in, no problem. Grab this knuckle, put his head here, put it right in there, okay? Give him a little crank. Well, that hurts. I don't care how tough you are. Now, as we give him a crank, we're gonna bring our knee up. And see what happens, the knee goes yeah. in here. It helps, you know, so your arm, not only are you cranking his neck, giving him excruciating pain, but your, help, your leg is helping. Then you put your foot right in his knee and kick out. So, I'll do a lot of partners, okay? We're here. Frame one, frame two, boom. Curl, knuckle here, hook, fish hooking up. Come up, boom, oh that helps, that helps the, the little crank, his head's here. Then his knee's there, crack. So we mess this up, break his neck, break his knee, um, ruin his day. Okay. We're in the guard, and this gentleman puts his head down here, and he puts his arms in here, okay? So I can't choke him, all right? One thing we can do is we can heel kick, and another thing we can do is we can grab this hand, come over here, hook it right in his mouth. Watch out for his teeth now. Hook right in his mouth, and then thumb him in the eye. And, okay, again, remember, this is, uh, this is street. This is not uh, no rules fighting, okay? So we are allowed to poke. He's in here. And we start smacking them. Okay, don't punch someone in the head when they're here. They're going to hurt them. Grab your hand, smack. Smack. Heel kick, 
reach over here, you can grab a thumb. Reach over here. Come into the mouth, hook the mouth, drive the thumb. He will go over. Okay, again, we'd be fish hooking the mouth. Watch it doesn't bite you. Hook the thumb here. Now, put your head in here. Okay, again, watch it. You okay, big guy? Mm -hmm. Fish hook. You don't have to actually get in the mouth. You can go right next to the lips and the cheek. Yeah. Okay, stand up. If you're afraid he might bite you, you don't have to go here. You don't have to put your finger in the mouth. See his cheek? You can take your fingers right in there. That's very, very yeah. painful. Very painful. Thumb here. Now, while you're in there, thumb in here, grab your forehead and his temple. Okay? Um, that will stop him. You want to get the fight over quickly, and you want to get in. Do you remember this, this block? This, is, this, this will be very nasty, very quick. He throws a punch, here. We're going to step in, here. Grab his testicles this way. As you grab the testicles this way, twist this way. Bring this here, and step up. I have to go in ahead the throat. He will go down. Again, he throws a punch. Boom! Right there. Nice sensitive area. See that? Don't aim here. This is muscle. We're going to aim right here. By the way, if you have a strong thumb, this is a good place to hit somebody. I'm, okay? Mm -hmm. This, if you have a strong, do thumb push-ups, this really works on someone. This is better than a punch. See that? <laughs> do thumb push-ups. It's a great technique, okay? Throws a punch. Boom! Hit him here. All right, or throws a punch, boom. All right, but we're here, boom. Groin, notice I'm lunging in, extending myself. Groin, grab the testicles and turn. I'm gonna step up and it's gonna come down, boom. He will go down. As soon as he's down on the ground, hang on to his testicles. Grab this and hit him right in the throat. Lift up, jerk up and down, okay, and hit the throat. Next, step here, step here. Twist the testicles. Next, both knees right underneath bone nipples. Comes crashing down. The same time, drive this way. Into the nose, thumbs into the eyes, back and forth. Let's do it again. That will definitely stop the fight. Again, you can also go, boom. You have a good thumb, right? And then slide in. I like to get in real close because when I'm in here, you might throw another punch. I like to get in right in off the bat, but that's a good technique, okay? Come in here, boom, hit. I'm going to step up and take him down, okay, right here. This, as soon as he hits the ground, I'm going to slam him with this right in the throat. If you miss the throat, no problem, hit the face. Pick him straight up in the air, okay? As his groin is up, come back. Step over, twist those testicles. Bring both knees right underneath each nipple. The same time those, these, these knees come in the nipple, this is coming straight. You can put the thumb, but I do palm heel strike. Bang! Thumbs in the eye, back and forth. Stand up. Someone's throwing like a hook punch. Remember the frame, boom. From this position, these are gonna rake. Rake, okay? We're gonna rake. You can block here or rake, poke, either one. I like to rake and then come to the groin. He bends over. As he bends over, he bends into this, then it comes up. So in, without a partner, it's gonna be one, two. One, two, down, into the eyes and up. So. Boom, 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 boom. Again. Notice that motion? So time again. Again, he's here, he does a punch, boom. And remember, as you're raking, you're also punching this arm. He does a punch. You see that arm? Look at the expression there. Look how I'm rolling it. Oh, that hurts, okay? <laughs> Doesn't it? No, what you want to do is now you want to roll all the way down here. So you're damaging this arm. And then you're going to damage his face by driving knuckle, knuckle. Okay, this is up here, 
Knuckle, knuckle, groin. He bends forward into this. And then just twist a little bit and give him a little shot, just for fun. Okay? So, again, he throws a punch. That's the uh, next technique. There's a punch. Okay, wrist locks, you know, a lot of people will teach you to do here and do a wrist lock. Like I said, I saw a guy in the military get his arm blown off, cauterized, kept fighting. I, I, Tommy broke his wrist and continued. I don't think a wrist lock alone is sufficient. But he's going to grab me here, and I'm going to go and do a wrist lock. Basically, turning the, the pinky towards him like this. See? Turn the thumb towards the chest and here. Okay? So we're going to do that, but we're going to add something to it. Let's say he's grabbing you with both hands, or he's grabbing you here to punch you, or whatever. Just so you can see it, we're going to go here, here. The same time, we're going to elbow this way. You try to break that elbow. Boom. See that? Again. Wrist lock, elbow. Reach in here, knee, bring him around for a little neck break. Again, he's here, wrist lock, elbow, grab, knee, bring him over here. See this? See how his arm is here? Come around this way. See how his arm is right there? That arm is not going to be done anymore. Okay, we're going to put him in here, we're going to reach up here, and we're going to break his neck. And also, we can do this. Let me move Tommy out of the way. Remember I had his head here? Remember my knee? That would really ruin his day. Put it here and go straight back. And uh, that's the next technique. Okay, do a lot, thumb push-ups are good, okay? Condition your hand. Now, a lot of times you get a guy in a garage, and there's lots of counters to this. There's tons of counters. We show these in other tapes. But one way <coughs> you can get around this is, instead of grabbing your hands like this, grab with this thumb up. It helps. And also, grab this, your thumb that's up, grab it with the other thumb. Okay? And you see where his neck is? Do this. Yeah. Basically, this is underneath his throat. This motion. Okay? Pinching, we're grabbing this here, this right here that runs here, and we're putting it, this thumb here is pushing it to the hard bony part here. It's just not doing this. It's just not doing this. Okay, that hurts. That hurts, but he can take it. What I'm doing is, I'm getting my thumb in here, and I'm bringing the bony part here, and I bring them together. So if this is the skin, I'm doing that. Okay? That. Not just this. I'm fixing them. I'm putting that this this little thing here, okay? It runs down there. I'm putting it right. I'm pushing it into that knuckle. So again, we're in there, okay? And he's countering the garage, okay? He's doing a counter. So I can't choke him now, okay? Time he's countering my garage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the thumb here, and I'm going to grab here, okay? You see that? Here, and I'm putting this between this and this thumb. Um, that will make him tap out. Okay, another dirty technique is pretend you're throwing a kick. Okay, pretend you're throwing a kick. Or, go up here, go, get his attention up here, okay? But don't do the kick high. We're going to come down his shin. So I come here, I'm going to throw a front snap kick, you know? Or maybe throw a couple of front snap kicks. Okay, but instead, when we get here, curve and go all the way down his knee and shin. The same time, he's going to come forward. Grab his hand, hit. Boom. Arm bar. Put a little bit of skin behind this elbow. Put my little bit of skin right back here, just like the ankle locks. Squeeze in. Yeah. Thumb, Tommy makes his arm strong, make your arm strong. If I try to curl his arm back, no. But if I bring my elbow in, oh, it'll go down. See, I said, if I try to lift this way, nothing will happen. But if I put this little bit of skin right back here, right behind that elbow. Okay, right there, it's tender, okay? So his arm is here. All right, 
We'll start from the beginning, okay? You stand here, throw a couple of kicks. One throw a kick, slide down, bang, hit. I prefer to hit with my open hand than punch. I don't want to damage my hand. Turn the, so little pinkies up. Drop here, okay? Hit, bring this tight, tight. As you bring this tight, his head's gonna go down. Turn your head to the side so I don't hit. As this comes down, you go boom. So as you break this, he's coming down, heel kick him in the face. And that would be the next technique. Okay, if you're a striker and you're fighting a grappler, never stand the way Tommy R and I are standing. It makes it easier for the grappler to clinch. You want to have opposite legs. But if the gentleman does stand like this, okay, what we're going to do is put our hands up here, okay, and, and finger poke to the eye, finger poke to the eye. Okay, if his hand comes up, slide in. Slide in, pop. Now, you want to touch. You don't want to come here. Why? Because if you miss, lift, bring your heel up. See what happens? So from this position, slide in, pop, come up. He goes down, leg lock, okay? Again, finger poke, finger poke. Go to finger poke, then come down. From here to here, again. Finger poke, pop, okay? Come up, pop. And then throw. Let's do it from the throw and do an ankle lock. We'll also do a slight variation later. Okay, again, we're here. Spawn here. Finger poke, finger poke. Okay, you can do a variation ankle lock by having the heel towards you. And see the bones right here? Going this way. It doesn't have to always attack here. This is a very sensitive area. Once you get them here, push down the toes and push here. Use the bone, here, get him down, okay? We can also do it this way, please stand up. He can have the same side, all right? And pretend you're gonna throw a kick. Let's, let's turn around this way to the camera. Okay, same side here. Pretend you're gonna throw a kick. But instead of throwing a kick, step behind, pop. Bring him down. Let's do it again. In other words, he thinks, okay, this is a grappler, he wants to clinch me. So you're coming in here, you're kicking, you're kicking, you know? To set him to bring his hands down, go to kick, but instead of kick, slide, pop, down. And that's the next technique. Spawn here. Finger poke, finger poke. Someone can grab you here, or like you can be in a grappling situation, a clinch or something, okay? Or the guy can throw a punch and you rake his arm. Okay, throws a punch. Boom, remember that? to punish his arm, boom. Come underneath here, and let's say he's real strong, you're trying for this arm bar, and you can't get it, because he's real strong, no problem. Grab these fingers, put them right in here. Grab this thumb and put it right in the armpit. Yeah. Okay, see the collarbone? Fingers. Do fingertip push-ups, they're good for your hands, okay? Finger, and put your thumb right in here. Okay, so, he throws a punch, boom, frame, we punish his arm. Weaken this, okay? Let's say we can also do this. Boom, boom! Weaken that shoulder, okay? Or, boom, boom! Weaken that shoulder. Come in here. Rake the chin. Now, he's real strong. Put your fingers here, your fingers here. Bring your elbows oh. together. Elbows together. Let's do it again. We'll do it slow. There's a punch. Bam! You rake. Boom. Or, bam, boom, boom, okay? Boom. Again. Watch the motion again. Here. Okay, he's real strong. Hook him right here. Hook. Okay, come in here. Hand here, hand here. I'm not going to, that's the yeah. squeeze. Without squeezing, 
Bring your elbows together. Elbows together. Don't bring up, bring your elbows together. And that's the next technique. Okay, a lot of times, you know, um, a guy who's real strong, especially like for a woman or a child, he grabs like this, he turns his hand sideways, so you gonna knee me or kick me? He just blocks. And as soon as he gonna knee him or kick him, go, he's gonna punch you, boom. You know, I have a nine year old son. <clears throat> Someone grabs him like this, he's not gonna get away get free. He turns sideways, gonna kick me in the groin, front leg. Yeah, front leg. Yeah. He's not gonna be able to do it. And the, and the man is gonna punch him. Who's gonna punch faster, me or him? I'm punching faster. Now, obviously, it's not a man against a man. This would be my 90 pound wife my uh, eight-year-old son. What I'm going to do is this. Tommy has me, and I can't get him. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put my fingers like this and go for his eyes. Grab strong. It's very hard because I'm flicking. This here hurts. That hurts. Okay. So the fingers here, that doesn't hurt. You put your fingers like this, that hurts. Okay. Same thing hit here. See, that hurts. That hurts. That hurts. Okay. So in this position, Hook. And even if he doesn't, even if he can't hit him, boom, I should be able to hit him. Put your hand here in your hand. Okay. Resist me. Okay? I can still hit him. But let's say I can't even hit him. By doing this, see how it makes him go back? Now I can kick him. All right? So we're going to do this. Bang. Eyes. From there, we're going to grab the arm. This thumb is going to go right to the Adam's apple. I'm going to step up, and I'm going to kick straight back. So I don't hurt Tommy, I'm going to grab here. Kick up. Kick straight back. Just look what went into this Adam's apple. We'll do it slow. <clears throat> From this position, grab here, grab here. Thumb here. Kick up. We're going to kick straight back. Kick up, kick straight back. He's going to go down. Go down, please. Look what just went into the Adam's apple. Hook the Adam's apple, rip back. OK? Condition your thumb so you can penetrate that Adam's apple. Let's do it again. He grabs your hands. Boom. Let's say you can't hit him. And you can knee him, OK? I mean, you're, make, you're getting a reaction from him. Because if I try to do escape or kick him, I, let's say I want to kick you. I want you to punch me. Block and kick. Go. OK, and remember, let's say he's a big guy. I'm a woman or a small child. I'm going to do this. Boom. Knee or kick. Go here. Thumb. Thumb right in there. OK, I'm going to grab here so I don't hurt Tom. Come straight up. Straight back, okay? When you land, this is coming straight into his throat. His Adam's apple, I'm going to hook behind the Adam's apple with a thumb, and I'm going to pull back. Again, he has my wrist. I try to hit. Very painful. That hurts. That hurts. That hurts. And remember, this you might break a finger. This you're not going to break. This really hurts. And let's say, as I go like this, I can't get him. No problem. He's standing sideways. He has me. If I tried to kick, you're going to block my kick, okay? Okay, and then as soon as you block the kick, punch me. All right? Because, remember, I'm a little boy or, or a woman. So I'm going to go this way to get his reaction. Kick. Boom. Okay. This thumb is going to go right in here. Right in here. Little, okay? See the thumb in there? This pulls here. The knee comes way up, thumb in here, and straight back. You don't even have to go way up. You can come down low. As you come in, you can give him a little kick here. But just straight up, kick straight back, go down. Thumb into the arms up. You went from, you went from the little here, when he hits the ground, you go, oh. move it up a little bit to the arms apple, and hook. Hit, up, hook, pull. And that's the next technique. Someone grabs you. First of all, I want to say something. If I'm tight, Tom, pick me up. OK? But you ever see a small baby didn't want to pick, be picked up? When he grabs me, the best thing for me to do is relax. Pick me up now. OK, relax. If you're tight, you know, my son, when he was two or three, would have temper tantrums. Really difficult to pick up. So the best thing to do, again, this is not against a trained grappler. This is something to teach your, your son or wife. He's going to grab me, OK? And I, I want you to tell your wife or child to go just really relaxed, okay? If he can still pick you up, if he's very strong, hook the leg. 
But the first thing he grabs, go relaxed. Pick me up. Okay? Just relax. Just relax your body. The next thing to do, <coughs> remember my other tape, takedown tape, we did the roll. Hook here. Okay? Go relaxed. Hook here. If he's real strong, he has you. If, relax. If he does get you up a little ways, hook here. Okay? Hook this leg. Next, grab your hand, hit, peel back the fingers, and open them up. So I'm going to open the fingers, bring them up here, open, and split them. Let's do it again. First thing, teach your wife or your child. A trained grappler is going to grab you like this. Bring your elbows in. <coughs> okay? That's the best grab. Most people don't know how to grab like that. They're going to grab this way. Tell your child just to go relax. Okay? So if he's super strong and he picks you up, hook here. From this position, grab the fingers this way. Split them open. Turn around and split. And that's the next technique. Okay, let's have put Tommy on the ground, please. Um, regular headlocks aren't very effective, okay? Because he can come over and poke, grab the eye, please. Poke your eye, okay? Oh, there's a lot of escapes. But what we're going to do now is we're going to try to work on an area. Sit up, please, Tom. Again, the dental area, here. Just remember the cheek? This doesn't hurt, but this does. That hurts. I'm going to grab these two knuckles. I'm going to put them right in here, okay? Come lean toward me, please. See the two knuckles? Turn around this way, please. If the cheek, I'm going to fish hook. Remember, a lot, I like the breaks. If this is the bone, here doesn't hurt. We want a fish hook behind the bone. And the pain will be like getting a drill from a dentist without Novocaine. Come in tight and go. See what I'm doing? Okay. Again, lean into me a little bit. Okay. In this position, see right here? I'm not going, I'm not going this way. Excuse me. I'm not going like that. These knuckles are fish hooking. They're fish hooking. I'm trying to get, not here, I'm trying to get behind. The bone, cheekbone here, I'm trying to hook it. This is the cheekbone, I'm trying to hook behind it. So again, I'm in this position, and fish hook, fish hook, fish hook. Very simple. If you put your head towards the ground here, and fish hook, very painful, very few people can take that. That's the next technique. Okay, a lot of people are down in this position they won't, cause, and they won't let you choke them. Now, obviously, the easiest thing to do is grab the eyes, but also it's a good way to get sued. Um, if you have to do that, if the guy was threatening your life, then go for the eyes. And as you go for the eyes, bring your knees right here. Bring the knees right below the shoulder blades. Go to the eyes, pull back. You'll hear three clicks. Click, click, click. The first click tears ligaments. Second click damages neck third click should break his neck. Again, you're in here, you can't choke the guy, fine. Poke him in the eyes. The same time you're poking the eyes, hop up, boom. Right below the short blades. Bring your elbows in, three clicks. Click, click, click. Okay, let's say you don't want to get sued or it's not that serious of a time. Right below the earlobe right here, right below here, grab your two knuckles and drill. Grab your two knuckles and drill. Also, right here, this vein here, dry the two knuckles here and bring it forward. Okay? Another technique is if you can bring your thumb right where his eyes are, see? And bring them back this way. This, put it right here, see where his nose is? And bring them back this way. Then go for your pull. All right? Other one. Go, put time you're going to poke them in the eyes or put your thumb right here, thumb up. Then put the bone across his nose. See right there? And squeeze. Okay, watch me do it again. You put his head down. This here. You can put it like this or like this. Then you won't get sued, but it will bring him back, okay? Right across the eye. Go one back, two back, three back. Okay? One back, two back, three back. Then bring this right here. See the nose? 
Bring this here. If you want to be real painful, like this. This is across his nose. Grab here, again. See his nose here? Grab here, grab the back of your head. I mean, I'm not even putting pressure, I'm just moving. I'm not doing anything with this, I'm just moving this one back. Okay, and that will definitely hurt him. Another one, again. But he's covering up, cover up please. Okay, he's covering up, okay. Go in to here and put this underneath his nose. Underneath his nose. Okay. And that's the next technique. Okay, next technique. He's throwing a straight punch. Okay? We're going to frame. Frame this way. This one's here in case he goes, tries to punch you low. We're going to frame, hit, or palm heel. Again, he goes. Boom. Notice I like to step on the foot and knee him. Step on the foot and knee. We're going to come all the way through and pull this arm. We're going to come back this way. Face that way, please. From this position, grab your belt. Now, in this position, knee the back, knee the knee, I mean knee the elbow. Break, break, hit. Okay, now we're going to do, we're going to wring his neck. He's facing this way. We're going to grab here. I am going to fall backwards. Roll over and pop his neck backwards. Do it slowly. Can't do this practice. You need to practice on, this, on a dummy. So we're in this position here. I'm going to fall backwards. Tommy, fall backwards. To this position here. From here, roll him over. Roll forward. You okay? Mm -hmm. You're going to land. So you're here, then roll forward. So think of Tommy like this. Okay? I'm going backwards, and I'm going to grab, excuse me. We went knee, knee the elbow, knee, knee. Knee. You can grab him by the groin, grab him underneath the butt, put your knee right here, knee here, and just roll backwards. Head hits the cement, okay? You roll, here's his head. Come here, Tommy. So you're going to land, face that way, please. Face that way. Face, lay down flat. Face that way. There you go. You're going to land, so you're in this position. But remember how we got there. We threw him over, and we rolled on top. I'm going to let go of his head because I don't want to hurt him. We rolled on top. Look what's happening to his head. Crack. Take it from the beginning again. Again, he throws a straight punch. Straight punch, please. Boom. OK, at the same time, frame, boom, step, hit. You don't have to, but again, boom. boom. Come across, bam, pull, elbow back, hook underneath. All right? Knee, knee, elbow. The fight should be well done. Grab his testicles. Grab his whatever, you know? Grab him here. Do you see where I'm at? I'm going to roll. Just like we did in a previous tape, where we rolled the gentleman this way. Remember this, this throw here? For the leg lock, legs in this position. Here's his head. His face is facing upward. There's his groin. Hook here. I'm going to go straight back. Pop! Um, that should end the fight. Okay, again, he throws a punch. We're going to frame this way. Notice, the, remember frame number one from here, and hook grabbing. Also notice as I'm pulling, this helps. Okay, so from this, from this position, you punches, frame. This is protecting my body, one. Okay, you can step and knee if you want. Go all the way through, pull, come back, here. Now, one, see the knee, 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 elbow. What we're going to do is grab his groin, put your foot here. Put your foot here. I'm going to go straight back. When I hit the ground, he should already be dead, but maybe not. 
Go straight down. Bang! Roll up, pop. End the fight. Okay, please, once you get here, okay, to here, when I go, notice how loose I have his neck. I mean, he's basically resting like this. I don't, I, because it's so easy to break the neck. If I go up, if I just put a little bit of pressure, I'm going to break his neck. I'm just holding his neck there. Again, look, I'm just holding. See how he's just, he's just lying there. Any kind of pressure up, I'm going to break his neck. Please don't put any pressure. Just hold it there. Don't put any pressure. Grab his groin, roll back. As soon as I'm going to roll back, I'm going to let Tommy go. Don't practice this with a person. Buy yourself a wrestling dummy. Don't be very careful. You do all these techniques. You're going to kill each other. Be careful. Grab the groin. Practice this other person. Remember, I did not have Tommy's neck like this, like I would in a real fight. He was just resting. See how much space? He's basically doing this. Come here, Tommy. Lean back. This is all he was doing. This is all, this is all I had him. I'm not doing, you know, that, okay? Because you're going to hurt somebody. Do the roll without a person. Buy you a wrestling dummy. They sell them in lots of wrestling magazines. Please be very careful with this. It takes very little. Tom, come here. When I was holding, it feels like your neck's going to fall off, right? Mm -hmm. Please be very careful. You owe it to your partner to be safety. Safety first. Thank you. Okay, we did a frame this way. We did a frame this way. This time, we're going to do it opposite leg. <coughs> okay, he's going to throw a punch, we're going to frame, and you can poke. Or you're going to frame an uppercut, all right? So again, a fr okay, there'll be hands underneath. Instead of this power frame, we're going to come in, we're going to do a loose frame. He punches, we're going to do a loose frame, and you can go to the chin. From here to the chin, all right? So, eyes, uppercut, here, or chin. I like the chin. Step in, step around over here and grab this way. Now, we have his chin, we have his arm. Pull and sweep. From this position, notice the elbows here, notice the chin is here. Damage in the chin, damage in the elbow. Again, don't sweep with your partner. If you want to practice this, practice it like this. Ready? Get up, please. If you're going to practice it, in the street, thumb out here, elbow here, chin here. Notice this motion? When you practice this and then sweep. If you're going to practice this with your partner and he knows how to fall, hold the arm this way, grab here, sweep. Now, obviously, as you sweep, you okay? Mm -hmm. As you sweep, you're breaking the elbow, you're cranking the neck, and uh, you're slamming him down the ground. Why don't you come here, please? From this position, as we sweep, <laughs> Hang on to this arm, kick, go for a leg lock, go for a leg lock, okay? You won't have to most likely, but maybe you do. And that is the uh, next technique. Thank you very much for buying and watching this tape. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, I really love Combat Sambo and I hope you do too. Please be aware that this is not the ends of all. You need to find other instructors. All grappling systems are effective. My wrestlers can fight. The judoists I work with can fight. The karate people I work with can fight. Buy other videos. Train. Uh, priority, always have safety. Please be very careful. These techniques are really dangerous. Practice them with safety first in mind and, hap and uh, have an open mind and also make sure that martial arts not only make you a better fighter but a better person.